This entire farm is approximately 34 acres. We prepared uh, each of the three pieces, this being the first piece. This is just over three acres. What we've done is we've applied approximately uh, 100 uh, pounds per acre uh, of uh, assorted cover crops, uh, clover, vetch, uh, rye, uh, we've got some peas. You should, should get a, a close up of the diversity that we've got going on out here. We used an eight foot no-till drill um, and that no-till drill uh, of course took a little bit of adjustment uh, to try to get the exact number of pounds per acre that we we're, were looking for. Um, and this is where we actually started and, and tried to get dialed in. Um, this being probably a little bit heavy, this three acres has probably a little closer to, uh, I'd say 120 pounds to the acre um, of, of seed. Uh, all the seed coming from Walnut Creek. So it, this, this field looks very nice right now. This field also has a particular weed in it that, that we're concerned about um, called mugwort. And the mugwort apparently is a, um, it's a very vigorous. Um, so we're making our, our best attempt to smother the mugwort completely so that we don't have to deal with it quite to the scale that it's at when we get ready to um, to actually start growing veg here. As in organic production, we don't have access to any herbicide that would touch this particular weed. So as of right now, it looks, it looks like we're having a very good success with, with the diversity and what we've got coming up here. It, it looks, looks nice and thick. Each of our cover crops are uh, we, we've done our best to, to get uh, certified organic seed. We've got a medium red clover, a certified organic uh, oats, certified organic winter rye, um, certified organic crimson clover, and then our vetch and peas, some of the other items that we've got out here. We, we don't have them certified organic, but we do have the company guaranteeing us that these products are untreated and non-GMO, which is our vetch, our winter pea, and our hairy vetch. We're going to use as little disturbance as possible. And we had to do some disking and prepping to be able to get to this point. But now that we're at this point, the, the goal is to not disturb it anymore. The goal is to use all no-till practice, which is gonna be a challenge. I mean, it's gonna be a learning experience for all of us. It's a blessing. The basic approach to controlling mugwort in this field is to smother with cover crops. When these cover crops are susceptible to be rolling, which should be in a couple of weeks once they're at an adequate flowering stage, we're going to roll those down with a roller crimper and then plant a summer cover crop into that. That summer cover crop will also be planted everywhere else except where there's a perennial forage planted. And then that's where the smothering kicks back in after that. We're trying to revamp this soil. We're trying to fix this ground, so to speak. And at the same time, we're trying to drown out any weeds that we don't want. Look at how much the covers suppress the weeds. Nature is not a nudist. It wants to be covered. I always remember the powers of the covers. Go ahead and roll this, and then we're going to dig in the field. So think about what we're doing here. We are aiming, we are putting five or six rotations in one period of time. We're gonna do that again now with the summer. That's gonna be another five, seven, eight species. And then we're gonna come in for the last winter cover crop mix. And then we're gonna start going into a rotation.
What we want to do is lessen the disturbance, then the soil biology changes because the plant community and the soil biology are very connected. In fact, in the science literature, we don't know who controls what. It's that complex. So if we shift the biology to more fungal, the plant community is going to shift. This is good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that goes on YouTube. <laughs>